What's up, true believers? Here we are again with another San Diego Comic Con 2010 exclusive uh, Hasbro Toy Shop. Uh, this time with Captain America. Once again, this is uh, Francis, aka Crimson Devices, um, toy that he got at Comic Con. You want to say what's up, man? What's up, guys? There you have it. So this is the Captain America uh, World War II version. Uh, again, the, the, the art on the slipcase, that's, that's all it is. Uh, it's just on the very front, the rest is pretty plain. Um, but that's, that's pretty cool, and a cool like running action pose, running towards you, coming to get you, you know. So, let's pull this out of the slipcase. Alright, and there you have it. Um, once again, this packaging has like the silver foiling. Uh, and it has the, the convention series logo right there and also on the back. And it has the shield on the front if you notice the different logo on the left side. Oh yeah, and the there Thor, you go. Even the Thor had the logo Yeah, right yeah, instead of the, the hammer logo, it was like hammer, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this one's got Captain America's shield right there. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, I already have an issue with this, but I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I'll get to that later. Uh, so usual stuff, you got the little bio right there, which I didn't read for Thor, and so I guess I'm not going to read this time. Save, save us some time. Um, packaging's pretty cool. I'm actually quite impressed with the figure. I'm looking at the art, and I'm even looking at the photo back here, and it's one of those cases where it's like, I actually like the figure. Uh, <laughs> I see some issues. I'm trying not to, to bring that up yet. But um, yeah, let's get this open up and give you guys a closer look. I'm going to hand this over to, to Francis so he can do the honors. All right, so Francis got that all opened up. Let's take a look at the um, top secret file here. All right, so it's got the letter. The letter to General Thaddeus Stone. Um, then you got his little card here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's Casada. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but that's cool. So Francis was right. Oh, this one is cool, cause it's it's like, well, this would be accurate to like a World War II thing instead of the the Superhuman Registration Act thing. So that's cool. That's different. This one's quite a treat. I'd I, I'd say so. Um, so here's. Before I show you the figure, there's a figure. And once again, it, it doesn't come with a stand, but at least, you know, this one wouldn't have, you wouldn't have problems standing this one up. So, there you go. <laughs> I'm trying to say you wouldn't have problems standing this up. There you go. So, he does come with his shield, which, you know, has the older World War II design. It's got the straps so you could put them on his back and then. Uh, the little clips they could put them on his wrist and here was my first issue that I spotted in the packaging this looks like it's a freaking Glock uh, from to the best of my knowledge of, of firearms this is this is a Glock um, I didn't know they had Glocks in World, <laughs> World War II <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that's that's one minor issue there, um, and another issue, and this is, uh, <laughs> it, it's it's part of it. It's a at first I thought it was just um, a sloppy paint job, but it, it his buttons that go down here it looks like bird shit. I thought that was like bird shit, bird droppings on <laughs> on them, but um, oh damn, okay, all right, let's just get, let, let me get to the figure, because I'm seeing some things I like and a couple things I don't like. Um, you know what, overall, now I'm, on, <clears throat> now I'm actually regretting not picking this one up. Um, I'm quite impressed with this, I always say, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really into it because cause it's, it's a World War II version and, you know, I, I want to stick with the modern stuff, but... I was about to say this has all the standard articulation. Um, it does, but then it, and then some. Uh, it's 
well, check this out. It has a removable helmet. So there you go, you know, with the with the leather mask on there. So that's a that's a really nice touch. Uh, I didn't think the helmet was removable. Um, the articulator is cool. Not only does it have the swivel, but I mean the uh, the rotation. It has a swivel right there on the wrist. Uh, that's that's a plus. It still doesn't have waist, but you know, as the mid torso, uh, everything else on the arms are standard. <clears throat> Here's where there's another plus. It has the the ball hinge right there and the thigh swivel. Um, so you definitely can get more dynamic articulation out of this that is going to be able to, to stay. And it also has, <clears throat> what do you call this, uh, like a, a ca shin. shin calf swivel. Yeah, okay. So that is a plus too. And then I can definitely say that the sculpt, and you're not going to see this on camera, but being someone who's into like military stuff, you know, I'm a big, you know, I grew up on G.I. Joe, Star Wars. Um, Star Wars military? Yeah. <laughs> this, <laughs> this has an amazing sculpt that there's some crazy detail, and, and the paint jobs too. I'm like, they, you know, little details in the buttons here. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can put his Glock <laughs> into his holster right there. This, the detail on this is really amazing, you know. Um, so, you know, I am a sucker for that stuff. And uh, one thing Francis pointed out, though, is if you look at the art, the, the shirt, the blue shirt goes all the way down. Uh, and it doesn't have the stripes, as you see here. So that is interesting. That's, you know... One thing that's a little different from from the artwork, and most of it is is the same, uh, except for the colors. You know, you can see it's darker blue here. It looks kind of like a cobra blue. Here it's it's lighter, uh, but it looks good. You know, it looks like you know he's been in the battlefield. It looks like it it was darker, but you know it's kind of faded. Uh, but really, the, this that's quite different. And I don't know how accurate this might be to you know, his appearance in, in the comics, uh, whether it was like the, you know, the regular continuity or ultimate or whatever. Um, but I can say this is, I am very impressed with this figure and I'm, I'm just slightly regretting having not picked it up. Uh, let's try to get this into his wrist and see how well, well that works. Okay. It's a little hard because this thing uh, swivels. And this is the same shield that comes with the the first appearance, I think, Captain America. Okay. From the single, from the single wave. Yeah. So for those of you that have that, this is the same. It's reused. Um, here you go. So the shield does work very well. Uh, and then you know, let's put his his Glock that someone from the future uh, gave to him. Maybe it was those aliens, you know. He's <laughs> uh, So yeah, he can, he can hold the gun very well. Um, but you know, Captain America, he'd be he like punching and kicking and stuff, throwing his shield at motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, anything you want to add, man? Um, I just think it's cool that, you know, they even got the Thor and Captain America exclusives. Because, you know, the movies are coming up. The movies are coming up and, you know, I guess they wanted to, you know, commemorate that by giving us Comic-Con attendees an exclusive, so, I mean, there you go. It's all good. Well, there you guys have it. Uh, both Comic-Con exclusives, Captain America and Thor, Ages of Thunder, I'm probably going to uh, post these back-to-back. You know, for, for you Marvel Universe collectors, you know, that couldn't make it to Comic-Con, definitely go check it out if they're available on HasbroToyShop.com. Uh, if not, hey, there's always eBay, and I'm sure these aren't going to be all that much, because, you know, there's, there's definitely more than enough of these to go around. They did not sell out at Comic-Con, so you yeah. guys are lucky. The ones you guys will have trouble getting is the Galactus. Uh, those did sell out. I don't know how much they're going for on eBay, and how much you're going to pay for shipping on those. Um, and you know, for you GI Joe fans, the, the Sarge Slaughter variant—that's the one you're gonna be real uh, shit out of luck on. You know, good luck on that on eBay. 
Uh, but there you have it. This is uh, this is an awesome ca Captain America. You know, I, I, I regret not getting it. Um, but that's the way it goes. All right, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, someone's here. <laughs> See you guys later. Thanks for watching. All right, what's up, true believers? Here we here. We <laughs> Delete. <laughs>